He loved them with everything that he had. New at 10, a heartbreaking story of loss that's rocked green country. A 21-year-old and her two babies die in a house fire earlier this week. It is devastating. Two Works For You reporter Ashley Holt shows us how our community, even some from far away, are coming together to support the family. Ashley. That's right, Brian Tiffany and her husband Kevin Freely had only been married one month, living a life they dreamed and planned with their two kids, 11-month-old Mia and two-year-old Raiden. But in an instant, everything they worked for was gone. We pulled the bodies out at around by 9 o'clock. Trampish Tripp knows this family, worked side by side with Kevin Fraley as a volunteer firefighter, and had no idea the worst day of his career would be here at Kevin's home. It seemed like time stood still. He says Kevin tried to save them. All you can do is the hopes that you can get to them, and then unfortunately on this time we weren't able to do that. Now lie remnants of a family, a kitchen, a porch, a baby's high chair. And I just kept thinking it's just not fair. Tiffany's family stuck in disbelief. My sister, she's still a baby too. She's so young and they just got their family started up. So it was really sad and I just, I didn't believe it. So young yet so impactful. The community and even strangers stretching out a hand. Oklahoma State Firefighters Association promising a full honor service as a show of respect and dignity for a fellow firefighter. He's our family. Him losing his wife and kids is like us losing our wife and kids. Porham's department and local schools raising money for Kevin, as Ashley and Melinda raise money for Tiffany's mom, stepdad, and little sister to have the chance to grieve. Kind of just have their last moments with um, saying goodbyes and just being with the family. They know Tiffany would want her family here, and Kevin needs them now more than ever. Losing the love of his life and two sweet babies, Kevin isn't worried about himself. Telling the chief when he's healed what he's been through won't keep him from taking his helmet off the hook. He sees it as a chance he wants to help people. And to me, that's just true dedication, true love for everybody. Now, as you can imagine, this family is in a lot of need right now, and they need a lot of help. Now, they're not able to schedule a funeral until Tiffany's family can find a way here, and Kevin is discharged from the hospital. For more information on one of the many ways you can help, visit our website at kjrh.com. Ashley Holt, two works for you. New tonight, students and teachers had quite the scare when they found a strange.